Hello everyone, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple, easy, stable, and very easy to fly aircraft. Exhibit A is one I prepared earlier. It's quite uh, simple in design, you've got your Mark 1 cockpit at the front. I've stuck an air intake on the front of that. Uh, at the back we've just got your uh, Weasley turbofan, a single uh, fuel tank. Two winglets, two delta wings, two elevons, and we have got three landing gears. So one up at the nose and two on the wing. And I have adjusted the front landing gear a wee bit using the adjustment tool so that the nose wasn't ridiculously pointing up when it's on the runway. Otherwise, it would just wobble about weirdly. So how do you make a stable aircraft? Well, it's it's very simple. Uh, symmetry does help, so having a symmetrical aircraft helps it stay stable. It is not a requirement, however, like you can experiment to make asymmetrical aircraft, but this is a tutorial, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, the things you want to look at are very much the same as making stable rockets. So you want to have a look at your center of thrust, lift, and mass. Uh, so first of all, center of mass is fine, it's in the middle. Uh, center of thrust is perfectly fine because there's only one source of thrust on this so that's in line with the mass so it's going to go straight and you've also got your center of lift which is in line with the center of the craft now to build a plane that will take off and go in the direction you want it to you need to keep the center of lift which is the blue and black icon behind the center of mass so looking forward center of mass needs to be at the front and then center of lift behind it. Um, not too far behind, but also, you know, don't obviously have them right on top of each other, but this is sort of an acceptable distance. Uh, depending on the type of craft you're building and how complicated it gets, it can be a different story for things like super SSTOs and stuff, but that's for another video. Now, where you're putting your landing gear is also relevant to this. Uh, ideally, your rear landing gear, which is where your ship is going to pivot on its takeoff, should be around the center of mass, so it sort of acts as an axis for the wheels, basically. Once you have all of this sorted, you can take your aircraft out for a spin, which is what we're going to do now. Once the game loads, I will just hit the brakes quickly, so we'll turn SAS on, we will throttle up, and we will engage the engines, which are a bit loud. That's a bit better. So you let your craft accelerate for a bit, and then you're going to want to pitch up, and away you go. It's very, very, very stable. You can spin it around like thus. Pitch it down, pitch it up. You can make it do a full loop, and it, it won't have any issues. This is a very stable, easy-to-fly aircraft. It goes relatively quick, it has good range, and it's also relatively easy to land. Uh, landing is, of course, the most difficult part of this game, because unless you've got it modded to work with a gamepad or joystick, you're having to rely on the keyboard, which is, is, is fun. I, I think fun is the word I'm going to use for today. Um, terrifying and difficult also comes to mind, but, but fun. Let's just use fun for now. Let's see if I can actually land this thing. Hey, there we go. Oh, it's a bit bouncy. Oi, whoopsie daisy. Nothing happened. <laughs> 